I struggled for many, many years being jealous of other people in my field. This was not a good thing. I always was thinking to myself, why can't I be like that director over at the next school? Why can't I be like Mr. Smith? Why can't I be like Mr. Jones? I was always comparing myself to others. And this was not good. It wasn't good for my self-esteem. It wasn't good for where I was at with my program. It wasn't good to help me improve. So I'm here to tell you today, your program is unique. It's not like any other program. In some schools, a jazz band is going to meet during the school day. In some schools, a jazz band will meet after school. In some schools, there might not be a jazz band. In my schools, lately, I've incorporated jazz band into my own curriculum. Your program is unique. You are unique. Some people, their kids are grown and they can devote more time to teaching. Some people have little kids at home and they need to devote time for that. Some people have wives who work certain days. I remember when I first started at the high school in 2005, my wife had Fridays off. So I would go in early on Fridays, very early, like five in the morning and I would stay late. That was my long day when I would get caught up on everything because the other days I had two elementary students who were coming home from school and I wanted to be home with them when they got home from school. So I still went in early, but I left right when school was out until they got a little bit older. You are unique. You, your program is unique. Here's what I found out through my years of being jealous. Some band directors ruined their health. They spent so many hours on the job. They didn't exercise. They didn't eat right. And their health went down the hill. Some directors I knew, they were in their third marriage or more sometimes, or maybe they didn't even have a marriage. They didn't have time for a relationship. You know what? That's okay if that's the choice they made. And I know there's a thousand different reasons why marriages fail, but sometimes it's from devoting too much time to the job. Some have no kids. That's okay if they made a choice to have no kids. Um, that's all. That's great. But I want to tell you this. I'm 56 years old. My four kids are grown and I have 10 grandkids and I absolutely adore and love being a grandfather. That is more important to me than saying that we won a certain place in state a number of years ago um, or something like that. I know other directors who retire and then they quit music completely. They don't want to teach. They don't want to see a middle schooler. They don't want to perform. They're just like, that was part of my life. I'm done with music. Now, that's their choice also. I'm not saying anything bad about that. However, I've been in music for 36 years now and I feel more alive now than I have in a long time. Now, partially is because I just retired recently and I took a half-time job at a charter school and I'm getting to start a band program from scratch. I am totally enjoying that. This, This is me for my time in this life. This would not be a good job for a beginning band director because they just don't have the the money to pay someone for a full-time job and there's not enough to fulfill a full-time um, job right now. So remember, you are unique. Your program is unique. And I want to tell you, if you would like to hop on a coaching call, I have started coaching young teachers. Look for the link in the show notes and you'll see a place to schedule a call. The Music and Podcast Where you get Quick and easy tips for how to be a better band.